So for today, we're going to be looking at the Catch Killer armor. This is the armor from Season of the Plunder. This is the activity armor set specifically. And this took me a while to get. Very annoying to get. I had to run the Catch stuff a lot, the Expedition stuff a lot. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like this armor set? Let me know in the comments below. We're going to be going through the armor set, how it shaders, and I'll give you some example sets at the end of the video. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, uh, subscribing, liking, commenting really does help a lot. And it's free. And if you guys don't like me after the, this video even, then you guys can unsubscribe and call me a douchebag. Either way, let me know what you guys think and let's get started. So the catch killer armor is pretty interesting because there's a lot of pieces that are actually very usable in my opinion. Granted, some classes got the short end of the stick. I'm looking at you, Titan. You guys, I think, got the worst pieces from it. But that doesn't just apply to you. I think the hunters and even the warlocks got pretty bad pieces. Let's talk about the Titan first because they are the first ones on, on this. Titans, I think the only good piece that you guys have are the arms. And even then, I think the boots are pretty usable as well. The only piece that are, I think is completely unusable and will just be very like, I will never use this is the helmet. I think the helmet is terrible. And the reason, the sole reason why I think it's terrible is because the asymmetry in this one is pretty terrible. If you guys see on the right side of, of the helmet, you guys will see like this fur with a ring. If it was on both sides, I actually wouldn't mind it because I think that would have been cool. Or if the fur was like all around the helmet, I think that would have been even better. Like if it covered all the way to the back and then on the other side, it had that indent, indent with the ring. I think that would have been cool. But because it's asymmetrical, it just immediately makes me think this looks ugly. Uh, chest piece, my biggest gripe is the hook on the chest piece. I don't really like when chest pieces have stuff like that on the front. If it's on the back, I don't mind it completely because I, I in the in the back of the chest piece it makes complete sense but in the front it's just kind of makes it look tacky for the boots themselves I like them a lot it's just the fact that they're asymmetrical as well just be aware of that and the mark I think is pretty terrible as well it's very bulky and I do not like bulky uh bulky marks because unless you're going for a bulky look then it just looks out of place and that's pretty much it for the Titans. The arms, I think, are beautiful. I think they're going to be used in a lot of pieces. The arms are really literally the piece that I use on the example set. And it's probably going to be the only piece I use because the other pieces are just very unusable, aside from maybe the boots. Hunters, you guys are up next. I think the helmet is really good. I think the helmet is very usable. I think the arms are very usable. And I think the boots are very usable. The only piece that I don't like and... This extends to the chest piece as well, but the the cloak, I think, is the worst piece from the whole set. Uh, like, what what can I really say? Let's get into it. The, the hood is pretty cool, actually, for a, like, Halloween look. My issue is the gator, like, snout at the bottom is actually attached to the cloak. I mean, that's probably a good thing. I would probably say that's a bad thing because if it was attached to the chest piece, then for me, that would have completely killed the chest piece. Now, if you guys heard what I just said about the Titan piece, then you guys will know the chest piece. The main reason I don't like it is because of the pick in the front of the chest. If that, if that wasn't there, I think this chest piece would have been amazing. I love the two daggers on the sides of the chest piece. I think that's really cool. And the armor itself actually doesn't bug me at all. Like, I think the armor is pretty cool and very usable. It's just the fact that the pickaxe is on the front and it just kind of takes away from the chest piece. It just makes it look very, very annoying in my opinion. So again, if there's something attached to the chest piece like that, it really kills my vibe on the, on the chest piece, to be quite honest. But the helmet, I think, is really cool. If the, both eyes were colored, I think that would have been so fucking cool. But the fact that only one side is the fact that only one side has a glow, it does bug me. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but the boots and the arms are very usable because they're symmetrical. And I will say that the boots aren't symmetrical because there is one book on the side and the other side doesn't have that. But that's so minor, in my opinion, that the fact that this the boots have uh, the same pieces in both sides aside from the book, it's super cool. 
and then the arms also the same thing both sides are symmetrical which is what you want to see my only complaint is that the like pauldron the top piece just looks very like weird because it's basically a ball so hunters uh yeah like another piece another thing about the cloak is the the spear in the back i don't like it but other than that yeah i think uh the, i think the hunters have the best piece as for the warlocks all right let's get this out of the way i think the helmet could have been the best piece from this whole set if it wasn't for the hose connecting to whatever the hell it's connecting to i think that really ruins this helmet like a lot because if it didn't have that hose i think this would have been the best helmet in the game for sure well not in the game but from these three pieces uh the chest piece also don't like it because this could have been a really good way to introduce a really cool like pirate robe that is intact but this doesn't like in the back you guys can see that there's actually a piece that's missing which is annoying to me because i would have preferred if the cloak or if the robes are actually like in piece but let me know what you guys think i definitely don't like the robe but it is usable not saying it's not it's just it's unfortunate that they decided to rip the back up the gloves are pretty forgettable in my opinion i'm not a big fan of them i think they're pretty boring for the boots i think they're pretty cool they're kind of symmetrical but also kind of forgettable and they're boots so most of the time they are going to be forgettable like specifically with like really big uh chest pieces and last but not least we have the bond which i think looks super cool you can definitely go for like a vampiric look with it because they're vials so if you choose a shader that has like a red glow then you can have that like oh it has blood blood vials on your bond so the cool the other thing i forgot to mention is the blue like potion bottles that is on the chest piece for the warlocks actually changes color that's really cool so yeah not, not a lot to say about this armor set i'm pretty disappointed with it if i'm gonna be quite honest um uh, it's just the extra bobbles like the ch the titan like hook on the chest piece the hunter pickaxe on the chest piece and the warlocks actually don't have that problem but i'm not also not the biggest fan of this like the thing around the neck for almost all of the guardians i think that shit just looks terrible personally like the warlocks it looks fine on the warlocks just because it's not as bad as the titans and the war and the hunter i think the hunter has the worst one because it's literally right in your face and then the titan also looks like it's it's a lot more pronounced because the, at least the warlocks there's a lot visually going on in the neck that it kind of gets lost in it but the titan and the hunter it's just there as for how they actually shader they shader pretty well Echoed Anger looks really cool with it. I really like how the reds are distributed because that's probably one of my biggest gripes with Echoed Anger. But again, I love a lot of things about this look. First and foremost, I think the red distribution on all of them are really good, like I said. But I also like the cloak on the hunters. The fact that one side's red and the other side isn't, I think that's really cool. If it didn't have the accessory on the helmet, or I'm sorry, if it, if it didn't have the accessory on the back of the cloak, and on the chest piece i think this would have been an easy dub even to the extent like honestly i just think that cloak is just there's so many pieces of it that's just terrible that i just can't really they would have to really rework this whole well not really they would just have to remove the accessory and the gator jaw at the bottom of the chin for the hunters i think that's it like that's the only pieces that i really don't like uh for the titan i think everything is really cool there's not a lot to complain shader wise everything changes shader which is really important and even the vials on the back of the mark change color and they actually glow so that's really cool for the warlocks my biggest issue is just the fact that the brown coloring does not change color so if you guys see in the boots and even on the chest piece itself there's like a brown marking i'm pretty sure that doesn't change color we're going to be looking through the, each of the shaders we only have three shaders to look at so if i'm wrong let me know in the comments below next shader is abyssinian gold and i really like this shader a lot it's one of my favorite shaders in the game and again i'm liking the distribution for a lot of the colors the vials on the titan and warlock look really cool the helmet glows are really cool and yeah this is what you expect when you see a lot of armor pieces you're gonna get this brown color but as you guys can see from the warlocks a lot of the cloth looks really good
And for Sato Tribe, I think this looks amazing as well. Definitely pieces that I, I'm thinking like this should shader this way, is shadering that way, which is really cool. As for the Warlocks, I think it does change color, but it takes the off color. I, I think that's what's happening here because the Echoed Anger's off color is brown, at least for her cloth. So this is looking like it makes sense. Let me know what you guys think. Overall, this armor is really cool. I definitely recommend it because I always recommend, even if I don't like the armor set as a whole, I would still recommend it because you never know when that one piece you don't like actually looks good in a set. As for the example sets that I have for you guys, I have the first one, which is the Hunter. We are going to be using the Illicit Invader Mask for the helmet, the Robo Raptor chassis for the chest piece, the boots from the Catch Killer set, and the Canis Luna cloak. We are also using the Aeon, Aeon Safes or Aeon Swifts, whatever the hell this exotic is called, uh, specifically because I was using this exotic for the day one raid. And it looks really cool. I actually really like how it came out. Uh, a lot of red, obviously, but I wanted to go with something that matched the boots and the chest piece, which is why I'm using the Midnight Smith, because as you guys can see, the chest piece and the boots actually match with the color, like the black dots or the black and white dots you guys can see matches really well. I think this is the only shader that I found that looked really well, but also I wasn't really looking that much into it for the reds because I didn't want to spend too much time on the shader when I just wanted red. So let me know, Hunters, let me, let me know what you guys think about this one. I really like it. I'm going to get through these really fast because I don't have much to talk about because these are the example sets and I technically have another set that I want to do for an, a separate video. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Next one, this one's going to be really cool. It is the Titan specific one. For the Titans, we're going to be using the Celestial Helm for the helmet. The arms, we're going to use the Catch Killers because it has the fucking, uh, I was going to say Minotaur helmet. I mean, it's not wrong. It is kind of that, but for the chess piece, we are using the Curious of the Falling Star, one of my favorite chess pieces for the Titans because it gives Titans a really good super for PvE at least. For the boots, we're using the Insight Unyielding Greaves, one of my favorite boots for a Mongolian look, which is why I'm using the Lagatus Mark. Uh, for those of you who have been following my content for a while, you guys will know this is a spin on my like Mongolian look that I have for my Curious of the Falling Star with the arms and helmet being the only thing that's different. Specifically, the whole the reason why I like these arms is because I wanted to combine it with the Celestial Helm because I think this looks really cool. I love the fact that you have the Minotaur helmet on your actual helmet, but then you have it on one of your arms, which looks really cool as well. So this is definitely cool. I really, really like how this came out. Uh, if you want to step it up even more, you can definitely put the celestial boots so that way you guys can have hooves. That would be even better. But you guys, you guys know me. I don't like to put more than two pieces in a one set, but you can do that and it'll look really cool. And I probably should have done that. As for the warlocks, I am using amethyst veil. Now, before you boo me, let me, let me explain a few things. First and foremost, this shader is fire and I don't care what you say. Eat my ass. Second of all. This isn't the only reason why I'm using using Amethyst Veil. So as you guys can see from the helmet, I'm using Amaranth at Atro Atrocity. The reason I'm using this is because it matches really well with the Nothing Manacles glow. Now, because hopefully you guys can see what I'm going for. The helmet and the arms are matching and the chest piece and the boots are matching. And then obviously with Meridian Constellation Bond, when you actually see it, it matches with pretty much everything because that one changes glows like like really well so it does match all of them so for the helmet obviously we're using the catch killer set because i think it's really cool the only thing i really hate about it is the hose other than that it's really cool looking we're using the nothing manacles because i wanted purple but then i realized shit, the nothing manacles do not match with the chest piece or amethyst veil so instead of trying to find another purple i decided to just get the amaranth atrocity which matches really well and just be like these purples combine with each other while the chest piece the boots and the bond matches together as well so that's why i went with the amethyst, amethyst veil because the elect of the empty robes is that color by default it's, it's the chest piece from the void season and virtuous boots i wanted it because i wanted to glow and amethyst veil gives off a really good purple and then amethyst veil uh for meridian constellation bomb was just like a no-brainer 
so warlocks let me know what you guys think i really like this set if if i use nothing manacles more this is what i would be using uh but yeah let me know what you guys think that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this armor set i am still working on the season pass armor but from my last video which is not too long ago you guys should know that my pinch nerve is still acting up so i will try to get content out but just be aware that it might be slower than usual once i start picking up my if you guys start seeing that i'm picking up more videos like faster faster you guys will know that i'm healthier i will say in a video if my pinch nerve is better if you guys are interested but be safe and i'll see you guys later